And joining us now once again this week here on Market Talk, we're having a conversation with Jason Walker, Nebraska retail product agronomist with Bravant Seeds. And Jason, thanks again for the time this week. We hope things are going well there in uh, your neck of the woods in Nebraska. Well, thank you, Jesse, and thanks for having us on. Well, let's dive in and talk about soybean harvest uh, and get an update on things there. Last week, we talked a little bit more on the corn side. What has this year been like for soybeans in your area? Uh, right now, they're starting to, to harvest the dryland corners, the dryland fields of soybeans. Uh, as most people know, uh, the dryland crops this year was a hit and miss. We had some uh, nice rains early on, and then it dried up. We had like three or four weeks of excessive heat. So the dryland crops, you know, probably 20, 40 bushels at most. Uh, the irrigated, on the other hand, looks really good. Uh, I think we're going to have uh, good to very good yields on irrigation. Uh, the only thing that we saw late season with irrigation would be white mold that just shows up with uh, excessive moisture. Uh, it pops up every five or six years, it seems like, but uh, we're working through it. Uh, we're still going to have a lot of great yields. Let's talk as well. Uh, can you give us an update on what you know, as we look at the soybean harvest here, I mean, how are the, the yield prospects? Have you heard any early results at all? Can you just talk about how things are, are really shaping up here? Uh, we haven't started the, the yields on the irrigation yet. We're finishing up with the dry lands. And it's like I said, it's 20 to 40 bushels, depending where you're at. The irrigation, we still have, you know, seven, 10 days before we start. And again, I think it's going to be pretty good. Mm -hmm. How about uh, from the disease pressure standpoint, pest pressure? I know we hear a lot about soybean cyst nematode, SCN. Has that been a problem in Nebraska soybean fields this year? Uh, a little bit. I saw some SCN problems early on in the season, but our, our biggest issue was white mold here late season this year, um, which a lot of guys, a lot of guys we work with so already treated R1 and R2, which they are ahead of the, ahead of the game this year. So, but that's the biggest biggest threat we had this year with the disease was white mold. Fantastic. Well, Jason, as some of the harvest results roll in here this year, I'm sure farmers could probably go online to the Bravant website to see those and or if they need more information or contact their local retailer. I'm sure a lot of ways they can get in touch, but I bet a lot of those harvest results will be online, won't they? Absolutely. You can go to bravant.com in the top right corner and sign up and you can get immediate results. Or you can just contact one of the local Bravant guys. Or the easiest way is just stop in at your local retail store and talk to them about Bravant Seeds. Fantastic. Jason Welker, retail product agronomist in Nebraska with Bravant Seeds. Thank you for joining us here on Market Talk and we'll look forward to talking to you again in the future. Thanks, Jesse. Thanks for having us.